Welcome to part two of my mission to find the best small motorhome under six metres that is on show at the NEC Caravan Camping and Motorhome Show. Now, if you're new to this and haven't seen part one, not a problem, you can absolutely watch part two, but these are the more expensive vehicles that we found at the show. So if you want to go back and see some cheaper ones that were all under £70,000 on the road, then watch part one. I'll link to it in the show notes. Right, let's dive in. I found another one that I really like, and this is a roller team. It's the T590, so it's 5.9 metres long, under three metres high and it has got four berths it has got four seat belts it has got not it's on a fiat ducati chassis and it has got it's not got a brilliant payload it's only about 300 kilos so for four of you it might be a lot but i will show you the reason that we've included this in this roundup so as you walk in the first thing you're hit with is this incredible lounge it's got so much seating and it looks so comfortable and really, really impressive. That table is electric and it actually drops down, so the second double bed is here, but your primary bed is above your head. Now, it does mean that the four of you are going to need to know each other quite well, of course, but that is where your bed is, so you could actually have a bed and a lounge if there's just two of you in the van. On a Fiat Ducato chassis with a manual gearbox, which I know many of us, myself included, like. But I just, I love the upholstery and the table, and I love the lighting. The sort of really subtle but bright lighting is fantastic. So there's not a huge amount of usable storage up here, but this sunroof is massive and lets in so much light. Now you can see the tracks, how far the electric bed will drop down if you want to move all the covers and obviously if there's nobody sleeping underneath. So you can sit up in that electric bed if you want to. Right, onto the kitchen. You have got a three burner gas hob, You've got a nice sink area under there. You've also got an oven, which is not always standard in smaller vans. And in here, you've got some really clever drawers for cutlery and for like tins and random bits, and then usable storage underneath there for some pans. You've also got more storage, but that's not particularly massive. And on the side here, you've got a little cupboard, a little cupboard for some bits and pieces, baking trays and chopping boards. And then you've also got storage at the top up there as well. Flinging round, you have got a huge fridge freezer, which I really like. And then underneath, you've also got a second freezer box, which means that that whole thing will help store food for you, or you could call that a wine storage. More storage up there. And in here, you've got not bad size wardrobe and a bit more storage underneath there for clothes. One thing this van is lacking is clothes storage. If you look, you've got no cupboards underneath the bed at all. You have got a little bit of storage under the bed, but there's not, especially if there's four of you in it, it's not a huge amount of storage for four of you. Now, one of my favorite bits of this van is the bathroom. Hello! Uh, it's got a humongous shower, which is separate from the toilet. There is an external garage and you can get into that. So if you put a rail in there, you could hang up your wetsuits or whatever to dry. And you've also got a little bit of storage underneath here for bathroom things. But the shower, let me leap in here is actually a pretty decent size. Certainly got loads of headroom for somebody like me. It's a really, really well thought out van. The only thing it's missing is storage. If certainly if there's four of you on there for, if you're going away for a week, I think you would struggle with all your bedding and all your storage and all your kit. There's not a huge amount in here, but I love like, the little details, like the lights under the bed and all the lights around the kitchen. It's so light and bright, it's beautiful. So this is the smallest Adamo that is in the Bailey range, and it is the Bailey Adamo 60-4. It is around £74,000 on the road price, up to three and a half tonnes, huge payload of five and a half kilograms. And I actually really like the look of it. Around the back, it's got, I think it's got an M bathroom again, but let us go and have a little look on the inside. 
So it's got drop down bed and it's got automatic steering and the Ford chassis at the front, which it seems to be a feature now on all the new Bailey Adamo range, which is Ford chassis and automatic. It's got a huge living area. I like the purple cushions. And then in this side, it's got an oven and a grill and a sink. And I'm guessing, yeah, three burner hob again, three burner gas hob, and then one electric plate. And then it has got a cutlery door. And you can't get under there again, but there is a little drawer. So the storage in the kitchen isn't amazing, but you have got these cupboards here. In fact, there's quite a lot of storage there. And I'm guessing, although I haven't looked at the moment, that you can get under there for storage. In fact, yeah, you can see the storage all the way underneath there. Then they've got an end bathroom. So you've got an end bathroom here with a shower. Hello. You've got a huge toilet with wardrobe space and more wardrobe space and then you've got a big shower I like that you've got more storage space underneath there now let's have a quick look at headroom in the bathroom because there's a step up to it it's not bad funky chicken quite a lot to be fair Room. So that's what it looks like from all the way back here. Now let me shut the bathroom door. Got actually, there we go, I hadn't seen that. That's loads of storage for your pots and your pans and your kitchen implements. Massive fridge freezer again, which I am a big, big fan of. Now, one thing I want to have a look at then is under here. Yeah, you got storage under there. And you've got storage under here, which is quite cool. Now, now what I want to see is can I drop the bed down? Here, I think. Now, they've got it locked, which is a great shame. Look at the headroom in this. It's, it's enormous. And even under the bed. Yeah? Yeah? even under the bed and then they've got their spotlights which have got usb chargers in and these transform into two travel seats so they are four seats so you can sleep four this turns into bed and you've got a drop down bed on there quite impressed again So this is the Auto Sleeper Nuevo EK, which actually won an award at the show from the Caravana Motorhome Club for the best two berth motorhome under six meters. So we couldn't not include it. The on the road price for the model shown is 77,995. It's got two belts, two berths, unsurprisingly, because that's what it won the award in. Its length is just over 5.7 meters. Height is well under three meters. And it's got a huge payload of 626 kilograms. Let us go and have a look inside. So like I said, you come into the kitchen and it's one of the very few under six meter motorhomes that have got a full on oven. So you've got an oven and you've got a separate grill, which I really like. You've got a three burner gas hob and an electric plate. You've got this brilliant invention, which is so clever. So this is the sink and it has a draining board on the lift up cover, which is really, really clever. I've not seen that anywhere else. Under here, you've got some really well laid out storage, cutlery drawers and big cupboard space. It's also got a little safe in there, which again is something that I don't see very often. At the top here, you have got more storage, which will make your life a little bit easier. It's got a fan, an extractor fan. How many motorhomes do you see that have got that? Got a full trimmer system, although it's not turned on at the moment. Coming back here, you've got a microwave. You've also got really pretty posh glass storage, which I love. You could put lights around here and it would all light up and it would be so pretty. And then underneath you have got a not bad sized fridge with a little freezer compartment. So that's the kitchen area. And just from that bit alone, you think this is a really nicely designed van. Spinning round, you can see the lounge. That obviously becomes your double bed. So you've only got one or the other. You've got two seats which turn around. 
you have got a Peugeot chassis and it has got a manual gearbox. It's also got an inbuilt sat nav system. Up here, you've got two proper sealed compartments where you can store stuff. Storage all the way around the tops and then under here, this pulls out. You've got storage underneath there as well. And these pull out to become your bed. Got a wardrobe here. It's also got the table stored in it and a little table as well. And then lastly, you've got a really cleverly designed drawer actually because it's kind of slanted, but that's quite nice. Headroom, very important. Loads of headroom given that it's only 2.9 meters. And lastly, let's have a look. Got, there's not a light on in this bit, sorry, but you've got a really nice space for your toilet and your sink and then the shower. It's not quite separate, but it has got, oh yes it is, yes it is, yes it is. My bad. So in the shower, you've got your shower door, which comes like this. Hi. And you've got loads of room. Loads of, you have got the sink in with you as you shower. If I spin that round, you can see, but tons of space huge amounts of space so if you were going to live in a van or take it on a really long extended journey i totally see why this one is a brilliant option for either a solo traveler or a couple loads of room really like it let's go have a look around the outside there's no external garage on it but what there is we've got a gas locker in there and a couple of connection points what there is which I really like is one of these now is open I don't know if it is no it's not you've got an external drawer which is really clever all your whale things there and then under here uh, you have got more storage so you have got a little garage for like your external chairs and barbecue and stuff fitted in there it is a really really well designed van this is the Weinsberg Excursion 500 Pepper motorhome on the road with all the mods that it has fitted here at £75,580. It is 5.9 metres long and has a height of 2.8 metres. Its maximum weight is 3.2 tonnes and its payload is 448 kilograms. It's got two seat belts and four sleeping berths. Let us have a look inside. Now, there aren't any fake lights on in this one. So this is just how it is because we're here early in the morning. What I love about this is it's got a huge drop down bed that comes all the way down to about this height. And then you've got a really nice layout that you can easily sit six around that table. And then, and then it's got a huge hanging wardrobe, huge for a six metre van, and storage space under there. In the cab, oh, it's a left-handed drive, VW chassis. Yeah. And then if I swing around to show you the whole van, that's what it looks like. It's got one of these sliding doors for the bathroom, which, kind of growing on me. I didn't like them so much at first, but they are kind of growing on me. Now, in the kitchen area, you've got a sink, you've got a two burner hob, no oven, got decent storage up top, got a couple of skylights. Now what they've actually done for the show is they've put fake lights in, so it does seem darker than you might otherwise expect. The fridge is cunningly hidden on the back here. And it's got loads of cupboard space, although that is a very poor use of a quite a big cupboard there, the cutlery drawer. But that's better to put pots and pans and things in. But you don't have any space here because obviously that's the back of the fridge. Then you've got a bit of shelving under there and a nice window at the back. What I really like is the headroom. Look how much headroom there is. So, unclip the bed. And it pulls! But this is enormous! I thought it was just going to be like a little one. I was worried I wouldn't get on it. Now, I'm guessing there's a ladder because I don't think I want to jump that. But it's quite cool. 
Okay, hang on, how do I fix it? How do I, how do I make it go up? Oh no. <laughs> Stand by, oh hang on, hang on, hang on. It has got a garage, like an actual proper hanging garage. And under there it's got more storage. And it's got only space for one gas bottle. You asked for motorhomes under six metres and I have delivered with a 5.4 one which is possibly the smallest motorhome I have ever seen. So this is on a Fiat Ducato chassis, 5.4 metres long and a height of just 2.9 metres tall. It's got four travelling seats and sleeps three plus one, although I think that's three in the main bed and then one on the sofa. So you've got to like them pretty well. Now I don't know what the payload is because they're not clear on what the MRO is on this van. So make sure you check that if you're interested. First thing actually, while we're going around on the outside, is it's got a really cool garage. I've not seen anything like that before. I really like the way that that's just, it's like an external box. This is 5.4 meters. So inside, it's got a huge dinette area with a fixed table. It's on a Fiat Ducati chassis with an automatic gearbox. It has got an enormous kitchen space. Two extra seat belts here. Headroom even under the bed. Hang on, let me walk forward to see where that headroom goes. So that, it start, I start to brush my head then. But that's not bad, all the way down to the seating. These are comfy, like these. I don't think I've ever been to Wingham before. So, in the kitchen area, you have got a little grill, humongous sink. I mean, look at the size of that. You could wash your dog in that. Two gas burner hob. Now, here we go. Let me try not to do that. Oh, and a small fridge freezer. We've got several bits of storage underneath. And actually, that's one enormous cupboard. That's neat. Normally, they split them into two. To make that much more practical for bigger pans. And then you've got more storage up here as well. The bathroom is a light, bright, airy beauty, to be fair. Huge amounts of headroom. Hi, I can funky chicken to my heart's desire. And it's got, it's not a shepherd not a separate shower so it is a wet room and i really like the sink corner you've got storage under there you've got storage behind this mirror and you have got plenty of space for the toilet let me just pull back i'm not sure i did that that well there and then in here it's an enormous wardrobe but it's a, a, a is that lengthways widthways lengthways i reckon you've got lengthways on there so you can't get as much in as you might think but you can get stuff in the corner and then under here you have got more space for clothes and things so you've got more storage around here and more storage at the top here but the best thing about it manual bed and i'm told i can just pull it he wasn't look at the of that that doesn't feel like it's down properly i don't i don't want to break it but that's huge and you've still got, I mean, you can't really use it, but somebody could stay in bed. And cleverly, if the bed's up, you can still get to the gas burner so you can make a cup of coffee in the morning before you put your bed away. Huge amounts of headroom up there. You could definitely sit up there. And I think that'd be long enough even for a lanky girl like me. I like this van. I like it a lot. What kind of heating has it got? It's got Truma heating and control panels on there. There you go, the bed is a king size memory foam mattress. It's lovely. And you've got storage at the top up there. And on that side. 
really, really cleverly done. I'm impressed. So Wingham have also got a couple of other options in their range. This is the OAC 6.1, so it's just over six meters, but we will allow it. Things I love about this one is it's got a huge garage on that side. It has got the, I, I really like this under, out the back garage bit that goes on here. But inside you have got a proper fitted double bed. Now, I think that will be a double, but you've got tons of storage and little shelving bits and all sorts around the bed, which is really, really helpful. Then you've got the bathroom to the side, which is cleverly laid out because you've got a separate shower area that you've got tons of room to funky chicken in, toilet, then you've got the sink. And again, you've got more storage behind there. Then coming forward, you've got a nice big wardrobe space here. And that's proper side on wardrobe. And then you've got chest drawers, which is most unusual and they're soft clothes. It just feels, you can feel the quality of the build. I think somehow, aha, there's storage under that. Look at the size of that. Oh, that's that storage. It goes under the bed. I see. And there's compartments back there for various tanks and things. So that's massive under there. And then coming forward, you've got your dinette area, which can easily sleep six. You've got two extra seat belts here. So it's four berthed, four belted van. And then you've also got a bed above my head. So I think this is going to be the same as the other one where actually there's a tiny bit more headroom in this one. Got the comfy seats again. I'm getting a bit addicted to these. I could just spend the week here. They're really comfy. Fiat Ducato Shatty. Automatic. I can't remember if the other one's automatic or manual, but I seem to remember this is a bit different and it's got a full built-in sat-nav system. And then the kitchen area has also got a decent bit of storage up there that goes all the way back. Huge sink again. Really like these sinks. Two burner gas hob, small fridge freezer, and then this is cool. It all lifts out. Does that pull? No, but you've got a really nice space there for your pots and your pans. And you've also got quite a deep shelving unit with lots of usable storage space. And then lastly, let's pull the beds down. So four of you in here, might be a little bit cramped. I like the fact that it's manual. I love the manual beds a brand new ladder on there. It does push, push all the way down. But I'm just scared to break it. And I also think, yeah, the chairs and the seats in the way at the end. So I, it does actually push down and forwards. So we'll come down a little bit lower than this. But look at the space you've got. Now the difference with this one is that you can't get your hob to make yourself a brew in the morning when the bed's down. So that was something that you might want to think about if you are an avid coffee drinker. Let's go see the other layout that I really like in the Wingham range. And this is the brownie, which I am assured will come with brownies. Now let's do a quick sweep around the outside. Enormous, enormous garage. And that actually lifts up if you move the light out the way. So you can put your bicycles and stuff in that really usable storage. Or you can keep it like that and put a mattress on there. So you've got an extra bed and have a bit of storage underneath. Does this have the amazing boot, as I'm going to call it? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, Brownie, you've let me down. You've let me down, but it has got that enormous storage space in here. It's also got this. Two gas bottles. Big gas bottles as well. You can get 11 kilos in that one. But inside, inside, this is cool. Inside, it's got a little bed. So that could become bunk beds. So if you've got kids, you're in a six meter motorhome with bunk beds. Yeah, you could just about get a six foot person in there. Same lovely dinette area with two belted seat belts there and two belted seat belts at the front. Exactly the same kitchen layout as we've seen before, except that the gas hob is on this side. Fiat Ducato chassis, automatic gearbox. Let's do the coffee test because I feel that this might be important, especially if you're traveling with children. Need that caffeine hit in the morning. Oh my God, can't make it work. Can't make it work. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm not going to break it. <laughs> that does come down. I reckon when that goes forward, you'll be able to make yourself a coffee. Storage is all the rest the same, but the bathroom is on the side. So let's have a quick look at the bathroom and see what that's like. Oh, wow. Oh, it's got little fake succulent plants. It's massive. I mean, massive. Look at that. And it's got a mirror, uh, it's got a window. Unusual. And it's got like a proper shower rail so you can keep your toilet dry. Huge sink. Sure, I think out of all, oh no, because why would I need an extra bed at the back? Although for me as a solo traveller, but then I'm carrying a massive double bed for no reason. Ooh. Yeah, it probably isn't quite right for me, not to mention the price. But I do like the touches it's got. I love for a centre bathroom enormous love it wardrobe dresser drawers again I do like that so after all that which small motorhome would i choose well buying a motorhome is always a toss-up between price payload layout and what you want to do with it so of course there's a huge range and it will depend entirely on your own personal preferences i'm a big fan of the bailey adamo range i really like the 60-4 model but i am taking one of their motorhomes up to iceland in june and i don't want to be accused of not being impartial so out of all of the vehicles that i've reviewed they're here at the show my favorite is this one it's the vinesberg excursion it's not too bad on price the on-road price is fairly reasonable but the layout is fantastic and and it's got loads of different features that I really, really like. Buy and spoke. If you're watching this and want to pay me a commission, feel free to get in touch. If you are looking to buy or change your motorhome, don't forget to download your free buying checklist and decision matrix. The link is in the notes. And if you'd like to see more videos about motorhoming and van life, be sure to hit subscribe. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!